Hashtag this is a moment. Hashtag iconic. Hashtag clock it to the house rich lux. Hashtag clock it to the house rich lux. Their level of harassment. Really Well, anyways, girls, I gotta go, honey. My limo's here to pick me up. About to do a collab with somebody huge. Somebody huge. You just, I just don't know who could it be. Oh, I Twelve seconds later. Are you pressed? Are you mad? Are you upset? Are you sad? Give me a bit. Let me give you a hug, cause you act like nobody shows you love. Get out your feelings, ho. Get, get out your feelings, ho. You stay complaining, you stay crying, you stay whining, ho. What you need? A pat on the back, bit? Or do you need some candy in a pack, bit? Cause you always in your goddamn feelings. And that shit be straight up killing me. Because the whole of YouTube, I feel, was peaceful until Jeffree Star became a thing. I couldn't care less about Jeffree Star. He can go and have his career, whatever you want to call it. It's probably nice for him to have something to do other than go to the STI clinic. And I'm happy for him, even if he's making really average to poor quality makeup products. Firstly, we're going to swatch dinner at eight. Just applied the liquid lipstick. It said to apply like a light layer, so I did that. First impressions, it does look a little patchy on my lips, but I feel like it's still patchy. Like, let's have a look at it. Definitely very patchy. I'm just gonna take this off because it's really not feeling very nice on my lips. Oh, okay, what the f I just took that liquid lipstick off and it's literally like really hurting over here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me bring it closer. Oh yeah. Has all these little bumps and it's really hurting. It's like darker here. I just don't like it. Like it doesn't go on right, in my opinion. I don't know. Jeffrey Star lipstick goes on like a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look anything like yesterday. Yesterday, whenever I tried to put it on, the product just would not go on my lips. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just put this right here and do a screenshot, ready? But <laughs> I'm like smelling it. Overall, it sucks, in my opinion. I really don't like it. Like I would not recommend this to anybody, so. Even if he's making really average to poor quality makeup products. Can't relate. What's going on guys? It's Rich Lux and I'm here oh, with- Good morning. <laughs>
Hi. We're here hanging out. It's bringing some tea. Uh, girl, the tea is. My, <sighs> Let me tell you something. Third degree. The realest person I've met in a long time. Oh yeah. Real. It's so good to see like, talk. We're to having you. amazing yeah. conversations, and uh, I love this one. received an email from someone inviting me to come and stay with them. It was a very, very long, detailed, exquisite email and I made the decision to go and stay with them but after a few weeks they went completely insane. I voice notes of the entire thing, this person went completely mental and threatened to burn the house down with me inside. I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I'm happy to leave that chapter closed for now. There's a whole other situation I'm not gonna talk about for now. I have to wait and see what happens but if I decide to do that scandal, it would be one of the biggest story times I think I probably ever would have spoken about on YouTube and I have receipts, photographs, videos, everything. But for now, as long as that person doesn't come anywhere near me, I'm not going to talk about anything to do with that for now. And it leads down into the basement. And these are two doors that are not lockable. There are no locks on these doors at all. So you walk in, this is like a bed, like a food I bought for him to stay in. So like we per well, till we permanently moved into the mansion because he got here early. The fairy lights he used in his background that you'll see in his videos. Here's the desk he was working from in his massage chair, chandelier reflector, all the professional lighting equipment that is mine that I let him use, my home gym, TV, more gym equipment as you can see. Look, again. I have voice notes of the entire thing this person went completely mental and threatened to burn the house down with me inside. There's no locked doors anywhere. The only door you can lock is this one and from the inside. So you can easily just, hi, hello, and you're out. That's it. This is the bathroom and this is how we left it with towels and shit everywhere, with three-person jacuzzi tub with a TV right in front of it, you know, 10-foot glass counter to do his makeup, like what? And I'm the asshole, right? Hey guys, so before we get into the rest of this video, I wanna first just clarify a few things, just so there's no confusion on the matter. I am not a, a fan of John Cookian. You guys know that. If you've been on my channel for any length of time, you guys know that I think he's a very toxic person, but I'm not here to paint him in a negative light if there's not a negative light to paint him in. I don't wanna come forward with any false things. And so I have all my receipts to go along with everything in this video. There is a lot to talk about and cover. So I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible so that you're not here for 45 minutes with the same story. There is so much that went into this whole thing that I just, I cannot believe that he continues to get away with all the bullshit that he has. 
as you guys know, he is not a virgin to being in the middle of a bunch of bullshit that he started himself. This is no exception. This is this is an absolute mess. And I just, I cannot believe once again that he thinks or he thought at the very least that he was gonna get away unscathed without being called out for his bullshit. And as you guys saw in those last two clips, I mean, he's used to threatening people, you know? Those were threats. I have voice notes of the entire thing, this person went completely mental and threatened to burn the house down with me inside. I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I'm happy to leave that chapter closed for now. There's a whole other situation I'm not gonna talk about for now. I have to wait and see what happens, but if I decide to do that scandal, it would be one of the biggest story times I think I probably ever would have spoken about on YouTube and I have receipts, photographs, videos, everything. But for now, as long as that person doesn't come anywhere near me, I'm not gonna talk about anything to do with that for now. If this person just leaves me alone, stays away from me, I won't go into anything. I won't do a story time and expose this person. Fuck that. I'm on this person's side because everything that they have told me and given me receipts for, like I have receipts for everything, points you as the bad person despite the fact that every single person you stayed with, according to your Snapchats, went crazy and kicked you out of their homes for no reason at all. Well, I'm hoping to do some justice for not only this family, but also every other single person that you talk shit about on Snapchat. Okay, Titty Queen, so I'm staying in a hotel because yesterday I left the house to meet a subscriber and the person I'm staying with had a mental breakdown and kicked me out and said if I wasn't out in 15 minutes, they would call the police because <laughs> I went to meet a Titty Queen. <laughs> pay 50% rent but my name isn't on the lease so I was like oh, okay <laughs> see you later bitch and I left home and I came traveling to the US because I just wanted to see things and experience things and it's been a f***ing storm it's been an absolute I have so many story times I could give you about there's a woman that I met on Craigslist that was renting a room in a house and I rented it online and I was there for like three or four days and I had to leave because it was just such a disaster and I had to leave so dramatically and then the person that was supposed to pick me up just f***ed me over in the worst possible way and was then texting me loads of shit. But then I moved to Miami, Florida with someone that I'd met for about four days when I was in California and we got along really well. So I've been staying with them. I was in a hotel for a week, which is why my background was so bougie. And then I moved into an apartment, which is why I hadn't posted while I've been here. I really hate it here. Not in any dangerous situation at all right now, like zero. The person I'm with has such a warm heart, but they're just always frustrated. It's like they don't really have a lot of emotional capacity. They don't realize what they're exerting all the time. And every single interaction with this person is like negative. And they're not mad at me. Every time I call them out and I say, well, if I'm such a problem, like, why am I here? They'll say, no, you're not the problem i'm just ranting i'm not ranting because of you i'm just ranting at you and i'm like that's the problem don't rant at me every single day because that pisses me off i have my inner peace this is why i always live by myself because i don't like living with people that are just angry all the time because i haven't done anything so if you're angry just go in the bathroom and shout in the mirror you know don't start shouting at me about something that has nothing to do with you talk shit about all over your twitter and then deleted everything of course i want to clarify the reasons why you are most likely kicked out of all these places because there's good reason the last thing I want to say is if you are a fan of John, that is your prerogative. That is that is your thing. I'm not here to sway anyone's opinion. That's not my job here. My job, what I feel like I should do is present things like this and then you can make your mind up about how you feel about this person, whichever way it goes. You know what I mean? And so with that being said, I'm hoping you guys keep an open mind if you are a fan of John's and realize that there are a lot of things in this, in this particular situation, the story I'm about to talk to you guys about, that really showcase behaviors that John has exhibited the past few times he's been in the middle of some bullshit, you know? And I just, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of him doing things like this to people who only try to be good, you know, to be a good person, to help him out in a time of need. And you know, let's just get into that right now, actually, because that's a very important part of the situation. We all know if you have watched John for any length of time, over the past few months, he has not had the easiest few months. We all know this. He's been in and out of hotels, in and out of homes. He keeps saying that he's having a house built and then out of nowhere, he's back in an apartment. There's just so many things that don't make sense, but that's just John's world. Not everything makes sense. I mean, he's had car troubles. There was an episode a couple months ago where even the drama channels who exposed him for being an asshole and doing like really shitty things, even they checked up on him to make sure he was okay. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, the knife situation. It was, it was such a, like a weird thing to, to watch. And I saw it as it happened on Snapchat. And I was so confused because the next day, it was as if none of that even happened and he hadn't even 
talked about it or mentioned it because a lot of his subscribers I noticed on his Twitter were asking him, John, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? You know, like, and there was no word of anything. But in any case, he just has not had the easiest past few months and he has been very vocal about it in his videos. And I can imagine as Cookie Fam or whatever you guys want to call yourselves, the Titty Queens, I don't know what the fuck you call yourselves anymore. But as someone who watches John, who likes John's content, who enjoys being part of the Titty Fam or whatever the hell you call yourselves, I'm sure seeing things like John talking once again or complaining once again about, you know, being in between homes, not having internet, not having this, not having that, it's, it's hard to watch because you, you're like, damn, like if I have the means, I want to reach out to you and help you. Well, that is exactly what happened with this situation and let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I want to read to you guys is the email that John actually references in this clip in particular. Received an email from someone inviting me to come and stay with them. It was a very, very long, detailed, exquisite email and I made the decision to go and stay with them but after a few weeks they went completely insane. Hi John, my wife and I saw your YouTube video today and we found it very coincidental. We love your videos because you have a lot in common with my wife, who is much younger than I am. We are finalizing the purchase of a house that she plans on making into a beauty guru's dream house with amazing features such as a glam room, fully functional nightclub downstairs, etc, etc. We have no kids, nor will we ever have them. My wife is really into makeup and has basically every Sephora product. She basically has more makeup than she could ever use in a lifetime and is willing to share all of it with you. As far as cars, they go into different cars they have, both of which are fun to drive. You are welcome to use them both. You could have your own private room and private bathroom and there is plenty of space to where you can either be completely alone or hang out with either or both of us. My wife is going to be redesigning the glam room and she would love to have a partner like you to get your ideas and make it amazing. She's seen the work you have done for your friends in other countries and she thinks you're amazingly talented. With that being said, there really would be no strings attached and you wouldn't have to do anything. No need to pay rent and you can help yourself to food and whatever we have. As I mentioned earlier, my wife is a lot younger than I am and the friends she has had have all just tried to take advantage of her and I have watched them treat her like absolute crap when she is the kindest, most giving person I have ever met. When I come home from work, she is watching makeup videos because she has no one to hang out with or talk to about her interests. When I see your videos, I see so much in common between you and her, and it just feels like you would be the perfect adopted member of our family. And she says, hashtag titties. She has tried to DM you in the past and you haven't responded, but she understands why, given the harassment she goes through on daily on Insta. Now, the one catch is that we do have five dogs. However, they will love you, but stay out of your way and you will always be able to escape from them when you want. They're not yappers. We are closing on the house at the end of June and we can fly you out in early July if you're interested. The house is currently going through all the necessary inspections to finalize the purchase. The rest of the information on this email is all private, so I'm gonna leave all that out. So the general gist of this email is we've seen you struggling. We don't want you to struggle anymore. Our house is open up to you. We have plenty of space and we think that you would be a perfect adoption into our family. And they opened up their house completely to John, but little did they know that would be probably the worst decision of their entire lives. That email explained pretty much everything as far as the why, but I just, I really wanted to get a statement from this person and ask them like, what exactly was it that had you reach out to John and offer him such an amazing thing? Because like the email said, he didn't have to pay rent, didn't have to do anything. He was just there to hang out with this guy's wife pretty much and be a partner, like, and be a friend to her, you know? And to have that much access to so much makeup, and we all know that John has tried to get into the makeup game for a little while now with his busted ass cosmetics medic line, ugh. That would be such an incredible offer to receive from someone. Not even incredible, but so generous to have someone just say, my house is open to you. You don't have to pay a rent. You don't have to pay a damn thing. Just be there and just hang out and maybe live a better life than what you're living right now. That is so incredible. So to have that offered to him, someone like him, I should say, I was like, what made you reach out to him and 
offer that much to someone who does not give a shit about anyone but himself and it's been made obvious by all the past situations he's been involved in and this is what they had to say i don't have friends here in blank it's like we talked about everyone my age has kids and minivans and i'm over here scantily clad in a gym i saw him moving around a lot and talking about how down on his luck he was with the moving all over and i genuinely felt bad for him i have the means to help and i wanted to because i drank the cookie kool-aid and didn't know any better it was foolish of me not to watch a dragging video on him but I'm not a malicious person so I refuse to watch those types of videos I give people the benefit of the doubt until they prove me otherwise he sure as shit did that my husband felt bad for him as well he believed his videos too which is why the email was sent now I spent well over an hour on the phone with this individual yesterday and it was a very good conversation and I was gonna ask this person if I could record the conversation but I felt like John had kind of just fucked any chance of that happening over because one of the main things, one of the first things this person told me was that they didn't feel comfortable in their own home for a very long time while he was there because John, like we've just seen in the first few slides of this video and in the past as well, had recorded them without them knowing in a lot of cases and I have videos of that to showcase that right here. I made the decision to go and stay with them, but after a few weeks, they went completely insane. Coincidence? I think not! 